Hey everyone, uh, I got a request from from uh, from someone to make a video on on uh, how to do hair. Uh, there was at one point when I when I came across uh, I, 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 for, I forget the equation since uh, it, it was uh, a pure accident where uh, or I just had a bunch of vertical lines coming across like this. Um, so, uh, anyways, for uh, for today, uh, I wanted to um, a, a fairly simple example. Uh, I'll uh, I'll, um, I'll write a little bit just to give you a good idea on what I mean. Uh, so, I'm assuming uh, you want to put hair on uh, on a human head, um, but uh, you can well, yes, you can directly put hair on anything. Uh, for this case, uh, I'm just going to draw a quick circle. Let's make this one with good enough. Let's give him a green head. It's kind of fun. Uh, and then uh, you can do. And uh, I was experimenting around, and uh, you can do. Uh, I figured. I guess the easiest way to do hair, if you want to put on on top of this, uh, you can. Yeah, the best way to do this is to define a uh, define a lower bound. So I want to define a function called lower bound. So capital L of x uh, is equal to the square root of three minus. 9 minus x squared. You keep this hidden so that uh, unless, unless you want to to have a more defined line, you can do that. Uh, and uh, for the upper band, you can do whatever you want, but uh, for now, let's do uh, upper bound is let's keep it simple and set it equal to 5. And what this allows us to do is I can say I want the lower bound to be less than or equal to y, or actually better read as y is between our lower bound and our upper bound. You can choose choose like any color you want. Uh, you can, and with this uh, lower bound here, or not lower bound, this upper bound here, you can do anything you want. Uh, you can do things like uh, I want a nice, nice and wide parabola. So let's do x squared eight plus four. Um, yeah, that is. That is um, the basics of of doing this. Uh, if we're expecting more of more of like a bunch of lines co coming out, um, again, I don't know of a way of doing that unless uh, another of you have have came across a case like this. Uh, in the next videos, um, I can make sure how to make things like say I I want I want this big. Bulk of this head to be bald, and I, and I only want hair to come out of the side, like, like, like an old grandfather. Fine, fine with me. Let me know, um, and then uh, and I'll get going with that. All right? Uh, I can show you another pattern I can do. You can do things like I don't know how you guys feel about wavy hairs. Do sine of x plus four. How does that look? It's pretty cool. I think it. I think it look better if we we made this part. There we go. And um, if you want want to use one of the built-in colors, you can choose from this hat here. Uh, if you want to mix colors, I believe I've done another video. Um, and you can do that too. Say, think oh, I I I want. I don't know, purple is already here. Can't come with one at the moment. 
or like I say, I want a bluish green or cyan, right? So you can mix these two together, and then you can do that. Now I'm curious what would this look like. Oh, brown's a good one. I know a lot of people with brown hair. Let's see, how would you do this? I believe you would do add blue to it, to kind of give it a bit more of a brownish look. All right. That's basically it for this video. I drop me any comments or questions you may have. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.